Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well today. I am going to touch on the question that I get asked a lot when I'm talking to sellers who are getting ready to list and that is, does having furniture in the house help or hamper the photos and the staging? That's a great question. And the simple answer is having no furniture does not necessarily help, but having too much furniture doesn't either. So again, it comes to that middle ground and what does that look like? Being able, especially depending on the house, if you have a very open floor plan in your house, even if you don't, it still makes a difference, but especially with a very open floor plan, having the ability for buyers to conceptualize the space with furniture so that they can understand relatively how big that space is makes a huge difference. Having a reference point makes a huge difference. So when a buyer walks through that door, and they see the living room and it's this great, beautiful, big, great room. It's very hard for buyers to visualize spatially what that means without some type of reference point. That doesn't mean you have to have the library and the bookshelf and the couch and the TV and all of that in place, but having a sectional and a couple of chairs so that spatially a buyer can walk in and say, wow, this could fit our furniture or wow, I could get that huge new new recliner or sectional that I've been wanting and it would fit beautifully and I could really entertain the way that I'd like because spatially I can make it work with the type of furniture that we like or that we have. That makes a big difference. It's the same with a dining room. Walking into a dining area, especially if it's a more open plan, and I say that because with a more, with a less open plan, buyers at least have walls and so they have reference points with the walls to be able to say, oh, I need a, a, a table that's that size. But even with that, it's a lot of times hard for them to know exactly what that size looks like. So having a table where they can say, oh, this is about the size of the table we have, or my mom has a table this size. That makes sense. It makes a big difference. So we don't want you to have oversized tons and tons of furniture, or like I said, oversized furniture, but having some reference point for those main rooms, like the living room, um, the dining room, a bed in the bedroom, so that they can see how, how big of a space it is with a reference point does make a huge difference, especially if it's a very open floor plan. It'll help buyers, one, feel like they could see themselves in the home, but also it helps them know what they could do with the home even if it's a little different than what they have now, it allows them to dream and to visually dream with a reference point and with some ideas furniture wise. I hope that helps. If you have any questions about staging or just what types of items you should leave, what are the best items to leave, please feel free to reach out. We'd love to be able to help and offer any insight we can. I hope you have a great week.